Hey y'all, welcome back. And good morning from Red Bay, Alabama. <laughs> in this video, we're going to show you our arrival in Red Bay. Yeah. Checking in at Tiffin Motorhomes. Uh, taking the factory tour at Tiffin. Yeah, and you might want to hang around because at the end of the video, we get to walk through a brand new 2020 Breeze yeah. just off the factory line. So stick around. Second state for the second day. We started out in Louisiana. Now we're in Mississippi. Next state to come, Alabama. morning here in Red Bay, Alabama. We're excited to be here and we couldn't ask for better weather. Yeah, we didn't show coming across the state line last night because it had just gotten dark. Uh, we we broke our rule kind of. We, we normally do not like coming in at night. Um, but it was special circumstances here and, and also the flooding they've had in Mississippi a lot of the parks and stuff yeah. were flooded so we weren't able to uh, set reservations so we came all the way from Louisiana the the Harvest Host location and by the way that was awesome and and I think we yeah obviously said that earlier but uh, we'll put a link down below if you want to check out Harvest Host because yeah it, it's a cool deal we're gonna do it a lot more oh heck yeah that's for sure so yeah, this morning we're in Red Bay. It's actually Sunday morning and they their office is open so we can check in and go over our list of things we'd like to have checked and kind of figure out the plan on Sunday morning. Yep. So that's awesome. And we're staying at the Red Bay Downtown RV Park and really nice ladies here. Uh, we talked to Vicki on the phone and we just met Linda this morning and just really, really friendly. So I'm excited also to get to know more people here in Red Bay. Yep. So let's get on let's with go. it. <laughs> So let's see, today is Tuesday, so we got here to Red Bay on 
Saturday night. Um, Sunday we checked in and got all of our paperwork in order. Yesterday on Monday, uh, a man came by and kind of quickly went over the list with us. Then we went over to the parts shop, which was uh, pretty cool. And then this morning on Tuesday, we're going to the Tiffin Motorhome Factory Tour, which we're really excited about. We've wanted to do this for a long time, but I wanted to give you a little bit of information about the check-in. When we checked in, we got a number. We're number 802. And uh, so he came to us yesterday here in our RV park. They just, you tell them where you're staying and they come out to you to, to go over your list. So. Anyway, let's get to the factory tour. I'm really excited about that. Okay, we're here. This is at the uh, Legro Visitor Center. This is where we're gonna take the tour. And you know what, it's a rainy day, so we're gonna make the most out of a rainy day here. We're excited about this. Okay, well, first of all, clearly I am not making a fashion statement here <laughs> with my security vest. It took me a little while to even realize that was like that. So, yeah, I'm a goober. Uh, this is a 1976 Allegro Motorhome. They actually uh, started manufacturing in 1973, and that is a 76 complete with avocado green carpet. Yeah, they hadn't even fixed it up at all it was like it was it was Very like nice. stepping back in time but you know what it had a drop down bunk uh, over the cab and it had a bathtub in it yeah it was pretty cool the first part of the tour they took us through the wood shop this was really impressive uh, they make all their own cabinetry here and, and uh, solid wood and i mean the access that they give folks here on this tour is really really impressive yeah, it, it was, and I mean, how many square feet did they have? Uh, they have, I think she said, 135,000 square feet just of a wood shop. Yeah. It, it is big. I mean, when you look, uh, it just as far as the eye can see in there, people were working. And so much of it's still done by hand, which I thought was really pretty cool. Yeah, that's for sure. They said, uh, I believe they said this Tiffin manufacturing plant alone uh, employs about a thousand people. Um, then they also have their uh, paint shop in Belmont, which we'll show you in a future video because yeah. they do tours also. Oh, by the way, I was going to say, each one of those containers over there are the furniture and stuff that goes into a given coach. So that's what those containers are. Yeah, they've got it. You know, it's interesting because as you walk through and you see markings, um, you know, everything is sorted out by the coach that it's going into. So it's very well organized, actually. That's for sure. Look how they bend this wood here. <laughs> this was fascinating, how they get the good curves and stuff. And you can see, I mean, we had quite a few people on our tour. Yeah, they, and normally they do tours uh, once a day, Monday through Friday. Um, you know, we were there uh, before all of the kind of coronavirus stuff started happening, so it was a daily tour. Oh yeah, this is how they take them through the line and stuff. Uh, they just drive them through there, kind of naked right now, nothing's on there, but it, it'll come out the other end looking like a motor on. And then, I mean, they even take you through and show you, like, part of this is the insulation and things, and like each one of those hoppers there, those are all parts for a specific motor home. Yep, specific coach, that's part of the ceiling. And then, in here, this is just showing at the chassis as it first comes in, and they start doing the welding they have to do, and the wiring they have to do. It's, it's amazing. Uh, to just see the process and, and these are floors here now we saw some other floors at the paint shop which you'll see in our paint video but the floors like the floor we have in our coach it's a vinyl floor they do all these here in this facility 
all the harder floor, the, uh, tile floors. Tile floors. Those are all done in the paint facility, which mm -hmm. we'll show you that in a future video. And then we're starting to get into the walls, and uh, I mean, just super interesting. How it's just like a big puzzle, and everything just works like clockwork. You know, as you're going down and. I mean, as they're working, you're just right there, you know, they're talking in our ears, they're telling us about what we're seeing. The furniture is already in the slides before the slide goes into yeah, if the, the motorhome. Yeah, if the furniture is part of the slide, they build that separately and then they put it in. Everything else they put in, obviously before they put the slides in, like the bathroom for us, because it's not in the slide. And these are the caps. Yeah, the, the front and rear caps actually are one of the last things uh, that gets attached when they're when they're putting together the motorhome. And these are the, the roofs here, and it, it's really cool. It's on a suction uh, deal that picks that entire roof up and will take it over and put it on top of the coach. I mean, obviously, you see it's one piece, and uh, it's, it was really neat to see it and process it. We, we started to walk away here, and I, I believe I catch the video here in just a second of it actually. You'll see it up in the air, starting to move it to a coach. Yep, there's one up there. Way up there, they're going to take it and put it on top of one of the coaches. You can see the holes and everything were already cut in it and stuff. Over here, uh, to the right, they just showed refrigerators that they put in some of the units that I guess uh, where the refrigerators aren't part of the slide. But um, we're just walking through and showing more of the process. Here on the right, most of these coaches are almost ready to go to painting. Oh, see, they're about to put a slide in here. And this shows the, you know, how they lift them. It's just amazing the access that gets. It really is. And, and you know, when you think about the weight of one of these slides and what it takes to haul around, or the roofs, or the sidewalls, I mean, how the, the strength of these cranes has got to be unbelievable. And yet they move like it's nothing. Yeah. Oh, there was like a bedroom slide, kind of like ours would have been. So yeah, this was a fantastic tour. Definitely put it on your things to do list if you are interested in RV tours or you know, you're gonna be in Red Bay. Thank you to Floyd and Brenda, our uh, tour guides. You guys are awesome. And if you wanna see more history on uh, Tiffin Motorhomes, check out our Winging It with Bob Tiffin. I'll put a link in the description. Yeah, that was cool. And the last thing I show you is the wiring here. And they said, what, several miles of wiring in each coach? Incredible. Absolutely incredible. And they actually print on each one which coach and everything it goes to. It's really neat. This behind us is a 2020 Tiffin Breeze. Well, they're all going to be Tiffin. What am I talking about? <laughs> but these are the ones they let us look at. So. Let's let's jump in real quick. Look at this paint. Yeah. From ours, this is a 33 BR, but the microwave bit up here is different.
Yep, very nice. Looks similar, but you know, some minor differences. And of course, it's a couple feet longer than our Breeze. And this would have the new engine in it, which I believe is a 340, 340 horsepower Cummins, uh, as opposed to the 275 that we have. And it was really interesting looking through those new 2020 models. Yeah, it was. So if you enjoyed this one, make sure you come back because in a future video, we're going to have the paint facility tour, and that was equally interesting. For sure. So thanks for joining us. Until next time, y'all, safe travels. And happy camping. Bye. Bye.